watch out for wild boars, have I got an adventure for you. The Matchstick Castle by Keir Graff is pure wacky fun. Brian Summers' plans focus on camping out, winning soccer tournaments, and building forts with his friends. That is, until his father is invited on a scientific expedition to the South Pole and Brian gets shipped off to his aunt and uncle's house in Boring, Illinois. Yes, the name of the town is Boring. When he arrives, Brian is plunked down in front of a computer next to his annoying cousin Nora and asked to help his uncle beta test an online educational software. Months in front of a computer doing schoolwork? A cousin who doesn't know how to play soccer? This is the beginning of the worst summer ever. But when Brian chases his ball into the woods behind his uncle's house, he stumbles into real danger. He feels lucky just to escape. Yet when Uncle Gary proclaims the woods as off limits, well, now Brian will do anything to go back. And when he does, Brian and his cousin find a castle. Well, not really a castle, but a gloriously ramshackle house packed with dusty treasures, uneven floors, secret passages, a boat. They meet Cosmo Van Dash, who, by the way, has never been to school and does not own a computer, and his many eccentric uncles, none of whom seem to have any common sense. Before they can even exchange names, Brian and Nora must help Cosmo fight an infestation of giant man-eating wasps. Now you'd think that'd be enough to settle Brian's qualms about his summer. But Brian and Nora suddenly decide that they need to risk everything to help the Van Dashes locate a missing uncle, fight City Hall, evade wild boars, and save the matchstick castle from demolition. A boring summer in boring Illinois? Not in these books. Enjoy.